Okay, everybody. Uh, I've had some people at my school full sale uh, request that I make a movie about how to install Fruity Loops FL Studios on your Mac. And I've actually spent the last couple hours trying to figure this out. There was one way I did it and it doesn't work no more. So, let's, uh, I digress. Let's continue on to Mac uh, Fruity Loops for Mac. All right. Now, first, we need to download Wins Wine Skin, okay? Download, install, Wine Skin. All right, great. You did that. It's, it's just a very, very, very simple process. I'm pretty sure you've done it many, many times before. Okay, then we need to go to download Fruity Loops, all right? Go to imagelinecom Fruity Loops, and go to their demo. I'm going to show how to install their demo today. All right, demo. I've already downloaded it, so I don't have to download it for you. Uh, so we don't have to sit here and download it for you guys. Okay, so now we're in Wine. After you installed everything, we're going to go here. We're going to go click on the plus sign. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom, near the bottom. Go to WS Wine CX12. All right, we want to download and install. Okay. Now this is not going to take that long, so don't worry about it. All right, so I'm going to click on, then we need to update. All right, update our wrapper. I'm going to update. We're updating to Wine 2.5.8. Okay. All right, there you go. All right, then now, when, once we're done doing that, we're going to create a new blank wrapper. And no, not the guy that's spitting on the mic. FL Studio. Okay. Oh, this doesn't belong there. Throw that in the trash. Hey, and there's our F FL Studio application. But we need to wait for uh, Wineskin to do its thing. <clears throat> so it's thinking really hard right now. So we got to let it think. Thinking. And we want to view wrapper in Finder. All right, we want to open the wrapper, install software, choose select, all right. Now where I have FL Studio at is in my downloads folder, bam, choose. Now we're going to see this link, see this quite some, uh, quite a bit. So don't worry about it, just be patient. It's going to do its thing. All right, FL2 Studio 10 Setup Wizard. Next. I agree. All users. We don't need the desktop icon and we don't need Osio for all. It doesn't matter if you have them, you, you really don't need them. All right, next. I do not want to install this. Then we install. I was doing something, uh, I tried this earlier and that option never came up before, but now it, then it did. So I, I think I messed up the installation process. So I am. this is the second time I'm doing this uh, for videotaping it. So, yeah, we're just going to have to wait and speed this process along. All right, next next and we do not want to run FL Studio okay uncheck that finish 
Now we got to wait for Wineskin to continue thinking really, really hard. It's going to take a little bit, but not so much this time. Thinking. There we go. Now, <clears throat> this will, you open up this, and you choose the executable file. I don't know if you know what that means, but it means this file right here. F Program files, image line, FL Studio 10, FL.exe. That's the file we want. And then you click OK. And then we quit. Then FL Studio. We open. And opening it the first time does take a little bit, but uh, the next time will be faster. So we're doing the Jeopardy theme song right now. Just do that in your head. Now, do, 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 do. Should be coming up here pretty soon. Uh, there we go. And, and you see I'm installing the demo version of this. All right, there's the little bleep. And let it continue uh, loading everything up right here. It's doing its thing, it's doing its thing, it's doing its thing. It's opening a picture. I don't know why this opens up automatically. But hey, you know what? It's probably a demo song. All right. We're going to continue. Close that. And then spacebar. And you can see that Fruity Loops is working and my battery is running low. I still got one more thing to cover. So we are actually going to close out of this. Alright, and we got to install a Gecko installer. Okay, install. Last time this took forever. This time it's probably going to take forever again. But, you know, hey, it looks like it's going a little bit faster. It's going like it should go because when I've done this before, it took like five seconds. And it was actually before I was able to install the program, but that was also another, that was also another uh, wrapper engine. So, and this window will always pop up when you exit the demo version, I believe. I don't know how to turn that off, but hey, it's demo. It's what you get. What you get is what you get. All right, so one more thing. We're going to this ugly icon we got going on right here. We are wanting to, I'm pretty sure you guys want to change that. All right, so you can do this with any plug, any, any, um, icon that you have on your dock and your finder you can't do your finder it's you gotta do that differently and your trash can is differently but almost everything that I've ever come across is is just like this all right you get an uh, I want to get a, a PNG file uh, I like to get PNG files because I just like the PNG file first. Now we're going to save image, save image as. Now Fruity Loop Studio icon in our downloads. Okay. Now you are you guys can download the ICNS file, and I'll go back and download the ICNS file. I'll. I prefer the the PNG when I have when I'm able to get a PNG, but we'll download the ICNS file right there. Go to downloads. All right, we want to view this in our Finder, so we hold down Command and then we cl uh, click. 
Okay, and now we right click on it or um, highlight, you go to edit, file, edit, copy. All right, now we'll close this window and close this window. All right, this is Icon Arch Archiver. I just looked up FL Studio and bam, it got, it got me the icon. All right, now we want to uh, open options. We want to show in Finder. Okay, showing in Finder right here. All right, you go to get info. All right, now when we're at got the in, get info field, we click on this icon right here. Okay, and then we go Command V. That doesn't want to work. Okay, well, I guess you are going to have to download. Let's go. Let's uh, show you one of my applications real quick. It's really nice. Uh, for other applications, other videos, that other pictures that you guys have that you may want to have for your um, your other icons, you can uh, search in Google for IMG image to ICNS. Okay. Now we go, just go to our downloads folder. Let's go get that ICNS picture since the PNG for some reason has the background. We're going to click on folder icon. All right, we want to put that to our desktop. There you go. Now we're going to click on this. We're going to copy. Okay, I'm gonna go to the finder right here. Gonna go to FL Studio again. Options, show and Finder. I hope you can hear me. I had my hand over the mic. Uh, my computer's getting me kind of bogged down. I always have a bunch of stuff going on up here. Come on. All right. Let's just go to this. Oh, oh. There we go. All right. I'm sorry, I, I was moved one of my screens. All right, show, we're gonna get, it, get info right here. All right, click on this again. All right, you can't do the edit, edit, and paste. Doesn't, I don't, can you do that? Hey, you can. All right, there you go. All right, now in your dock, there you go. And now you have your FL Studio set up. All right, I hope you, if you have any questions like installing VSTs or anything like that, get me some free VSTs and I'll try to figure it out. But uh, just to let, um, Fruity Loops is not my DAW of choice. I do not know anything about it. I don't know how to use it other than clicking on these squares and making sounds happen. I don't, don't know how to do, use Fruity Loops personally. But people ask me how to make this pro, how to make it happen on a Mac, and I was more than happy to oblige. And if you have anything else, just let me know, and God bless. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial.